4Env is a forward-looking process designed to identify and assess emerging issues that may represent risks or opportunities to Europe's environment and citizens, and to communicate these results. 4Env is a very useful process in that it's really bringing together thinking um, from very different perspectives. Here we've had people coming from the business side, from the academic side, from NGOs, and the different perspectives that we've had also from different countries has been very enriching. Each year, 4Env identifies and reports on 10 priority issues. Now in its second annual cycle, 4Env has considered emerging innovations in the green economy of the future. The focus is on emerging issues related to the transition to the circular economy and beyond that even, to the potential to have a regenerative or ecologically positive economy. In a circular economy, the value of products, materials and resources is maintained for as long as possible through reuse, repair and recycling, and the generation of waste minimised. This is a key priority in realising European long-term environmental policy objectives. Moving from a linear to a circular economy requires changes in production and consumption, which will have implications for business and people. I think we, we have to, to take circular economy in the most holistic approach and uh, not only include uh, all the activities related to, to the um, concrete uh, natural resources, but also with human management. Two examples of the issues identified by 4Env in this cycle are the emergence of new work-life balance transitions and digital twins as a driver of large-scale circular transformation. The emergence of new work-life balance transitions explores how drivers such as digitalization, the changing nature of work and evolving values around personal, social and environmental issues may lead to changes in our perception of work and personal time. On the other hand, the emerging issue of digital twins as a driver of circular transformations explores how rapid technological developments such as artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things can support the creation of digital replicas of complex socio-technical systems such as a building or even a city. These digital twins can help predict and test system change and support transformations to circularity. Both issues emerge from and can support the transition to a more circular economy, creating a new approach to facing social and technological challenges. The emergence of these issues will create opportunities, but also risks for people and the environment in Europe. For example, digital twins can help increase efficiency and reduce waste, and could also improve transparency and citizen engagement in the transition to circularity. And if the value of family and community work is increasingly recognised, a wider societal shift could occur that helps to increase equality and inclusion. Risks also emerge. For example, technology for digital twins will support real-time monitoring and the creation of large amounts of data. This presents risks for privacy and trust. And in relation to work-life balance, digitalization and automation may drive unwelcome changes. Flexible working and more precarious work may become increasingly common with risks for mental health and social inequalities. Now, foreign is a very nice uh, exercise of trying to gather a lot of the expertise and knowledge. Um, all these people who are dealing with parts of the problem and bringing them together to outline the sorts of trends that we need to really be preparing ourselves for, for these new, new realities, this new circular economy that we want to see. In cycle two, 4 Env focused on 10 priority emerging issues, showing the interaction between society and the environment, and with the sight set on the green and circular economy. One of the things that emerged from the workshops is that we really need to start thinking in the longer term for policies, not simply looking at uh, the immediate issues for today, and even the next five or 10 years, but really looking to the policies for the next generations. You can find the report and infographics for these 10 issues online. To see the full outcomes of 4Env, visit our website.